Starting a new saltwater tank is always a ton of fun. I'm starting a new tank right now, and with that, it brings all the fun and excitement of envisioning a new aquascape, stocking this bad boy with new corals, uh, but not every coral is right for a tank this size. So, let me tell you about the corals that I will absolutely not be putting in this Pico tank here. Now, as a general rule of thumb, when it comes to Pico tanks, there's really about four categories of corals uh, that I would not recommend uh, putting into such a tank. Those categories are one, corals that propagate out of control, two, uh, corals that are way too aggressive, three, uh, those corals that I cannot afford, uh, which unfortunately is most if they're not on sale, and then four, small polyp stony corals or really any that are just way too difficult to keep alive. Now, while those last two options are pretty self-explanatory, uh, I will not be covering them in this video because realistically, I'll probably end up blowing my yearly bonus on an Acropora to try to keep alive in my tank, which we already know is never gonna work out. But I'm probably still gonna try anyways. So with that being said, if you like this style of videos, uh, please hit this with a like button uh, or subscribe if you wanna see more of my face, uh, or this tank. But with that, let's get right into the five corals that I will not be stocking my tank with. Now, number one and two are pom-pom zanias and green star polyps for actually the same exact reason. Both of these corals will just absolutely take over whatever rock you end up putting them on. These are both, I think, very, very beautiful corals, but once you put them in your tank, you'll quickly realize it's not your tank anymore. Uh, it's theirs. And with a tank as small as mine, they will quickly take over everything. And that's just not something that I want right now. Number three are palithoas. These corals are generally uh, fairly easy to take care of. They're fairly popular in the hobby and they can have some beautiful colorations. The only thing is uh, they could also kill you. Am I saying that right? Uh, yep, they can kill you. This is actually uh, extremely rare, and given the proper handling, preparation, and care, uh, it is extremely rare to none that you'll end up experiencing this toxicity. But it has happened before to, to reefers. There are some scary stories out there, and frankly, even though the risk is minimal to none, I know the precautions to take, it's still just not a risk that I really want to have. Believe it or not, I actually got my PhD in ion channels, and so when I tell you that I want my sodium potassium pump working as nature intended, you can trust me, I'm a doctor. Just not the one you'll see if you get exposed to the toxin. Now, number four on this list is actually a little bit hypocritical for me to say because it's one that I've already had in my Pico tank before and probably will still end up having in this tank, maybe, uh, but that is a torch coral. These guys are absolutely beautiful. I love them. They're some of my favorite corals, uh, but one of the issues is they can have incredibly long stingers. And this becomes a little bit of an issue in a Pico tank when all the corals you have are going to be forced right next to each other. As much as I love them, I would hate to start losing a lot of my corals because the torch ends up stinging everything nearby. And so unfortunately, I'm just kind of unable to give it the space that it needs in such a small tank. And with that being said, that brings us now to our last coral, number five, that I will not be adding to my tank, and that is the toadstool leather. Why? I just think it's ugly. Sure, they may release toxins that can stump the growth of other corals and that may be compounded in such a small tank. And sure, uh, they may get way too big as well for such a small tank, but let's face the real facts here, guys. They're just ugly. I'm so, I'm so sorry if you love them. Anyways, that is it for the five corals that I will not be putting in this Pico tank here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you wanna see more of my face, don't hesitate to subscribe or click one of the videos that's like here or here or, or here. Or I still don't know where they are, uh, but feel free to click one of those. And if you made it to this point in the video, uh, you're absolutely awesome. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, but that's it for this one. My name's Iolas, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.